Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of our Spin Tires Mud Runner Let's Play on Xbox One. Uh, we're actually doing, this is more of like, almost like a tandem Let's Play with Jeep Guy. Um, he's a little bit further ahead than I am at the moment because he's been exploring the map, but we're going to go ahead and set off again and I'm actually, it's starting to get dark, so I'm going to skip night. Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. Uh -uh. Wait. It won't let me do that. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine then. I guess we're... It won't let me skip night. So I guess I'm welcome, just welcome to this. Welcome to new spin tires. You well, it's got a. It's got an option. It's just grayed out. It's not a big deal. I'm just curious as to why it's there. So let's go ahead and get rid of the trailer I hitch. Show, um, I'm I'm back at my other my other garage. Yeah. You cannot. You cannot bring vehicles. Or recover them to different garages. Well, the 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 UAZ is recallable. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, uh, skip night. Yeah, I can skip night. Try it now. Yeah. Oh, for some reason I can't. Oh wait. You know what it probably was like? It was probably like, wait a minute, it's not actually night yet. That's probably why. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay, well, I want... I'm kind of a little bit upset because I swapped to the other 6x6. Uh, six six uh-huh. Just to give her a little Troy. Let's see, and, log station. Oh, gone now. Where did it go? Yeah, and... E131. Where's the... And... Oh, there's the lumber mill. Okay, I know exactly what I'm doing. Can't do any. It's kind of got like not that off. Uh, it doesn't have as big as tires as the C class one. And uh huh. You can't like do swap tires. You can only do the same exact thing. So I wonder if we're gonna be getting more. Oh, we like getting more stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be. They they already they dude. We're we're totally gonna straight up gonna be getting more uh more add-ons, but uh. I'm going to go ahead and head to the fuel Whoa. station, fuel up the truck, grab my first load of lumber, and then head to the only lumber objective on this map. So this map should actually be pretty quick to finish. Have you looked at your fuel tanks on the side of your truck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, it, it, they actually tell you how much fuel. There's yeah. so many different things that tell you how much gas you have, it's not even funny. I know. Which, I think, when you play hardcore mode, that's where it's going to make the difference, you know? Yeah. Oh, I just noticed there's two log kiosks. Yes. Well, those are just areas to pick up stuff. Like, not those are pickup points, not drop-off points. Yeah, I know. There's, there's two, but there's only one. What is it? We only have one mil. That's yeah, two pickup points, one mill. So I'm going to the I'm going to the one up in like the top middle of the map, like closest to the garage, and I'm going to pick up there the first time and then I'm probably going to pick up from the other from the other one the second time because I I have a full tank of fuel now, so I don't really think I have to think about getting fuel again uh for any of these log runs really. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that too. Oh, oh, come on. The problem is how we're going to get over there is different. Oh, well, yeah, because we're both in different areas of the map. <laughs> but I also have... See, let's see. I have zero damage. Dude, if I could make this a no-damage challenge, that'd be legit. Oh, God, that's a dip right there. I'm going to go to start blazing my own little path here. <laughs> dude, actually, oh, oh my God. What, here. like... Dude, what mods are you, like, most most excited to play in this version of the game? You know, like I just can't wait to see maps. Truly, in all honesty, I can't wait to see what these what the map devs are gonna do. Yeah, the map map makers are gonna go nuts. I think I'm going the right way. Just not totally positive. Let's see. I guess we'll find out in a second. Yeah, oh, this is as the crow flies. So I set a map marker and I'm just plowing through the woods right now. Nice! Dude, I'm actually, I'm probably right about where you were. You know, okay, you know that, those big massive fields? That's where I am right now. Yeah, that's where I was. So that's how you got over there so fast. Right, that makes sense now. 
You know what? I'm gonna be smart, and I'm gonna stay near the trees, because I don't know this terrain, and I don't know if it's gonna turn to mud on me. So I'm gonna stay near the trees in case I need an emergency winch. So, I'm in a swamp area, and I was like, oh no, there's a tree blocking my, blocking my way. Just run it over. It's one of the, like, old dead trees that are standing in the water. Oh yeah. Plow straight through them like they're nothing. Nice. Nice. That's legit. Too bad I just had a dead end. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get down to... Oh, God. All right. Oh, boy. Where's my lumber area? It should be right nearby. It should be right... You took, you took the fields. I'm about to pop out onto a field and make the rest of my journey on one. I just found a path, oh, though. Fell over, and I don't feel like going to find out what it was. Like, I found a road, and it's, like, it's weird because it didn't really come from anywhere. It just kind of randomly was like, oh, here's a road. You know what I mean? It was like, oh, here's a road. You can, like, there's, you can drive on it, right but it's... The fields. Yeah. I just, pa I just went through the woods and landed on it. Oh, nice. So we're kind of relatively in the same spot. Yeah. Either that or we're not in the same spot at all, but we just think we are. <laughs> Which, honestly, could be true, too. Huh? I just got random damage. Random damage? Oh my god! I keep passing the... I have passed the log station, like, two times now. But, like, not turned. Nothing goes to where it actually is. You have to, like, you have to trailblaze to get to it, at least from what I've found so far. Yeah, probably. I'm back in a field again. The road ended. The road ended for me, and... Oh, you must have come from the other direction. I'm going into the woods. You got just went out into the fields that I came onto the road from. Oh, I just found a way inside. There's a little swampy road that leads inside. That's not really a road, that's just a cutout. Oh, did you really? Okay. I'm on the, um, I am on the north, the northwest side of it. Like, I'm coming directly in from the west. Alright, let me see here. Release winch, and... Like, I mean, I'm really freaking close. I'm right here. I'm just gonna keep- I'm just gonna keep running it, dude. Like, okay, I'm so yeah. close. I- I just got the, um, the cloaking. There's a little tiny, um, swamp. That's another way you can get in there. Wow, if I would've taken a right and gone into the swamp, I would've driven straight to it. Uh, I'm taking a completely indirect route. I mean, like, I'm in the middle of the woods now. Hopefully I don't get snagged on any trees. Oh, God. Oh. I, I avoid the forest at, like, all costs. Yeah. Especially with a trailer. Yeah, I have the, uh, the medium trailer attachment. I wonder yeah, if I can I barrel these over. I was thinking, uh, uh next round I'm probably gonna do two smalls. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, crap. I don't think I can get through there. Damn, okay. Now I gotta back my way out of here. This is a predicament. Oh, this is really muddy. Or can I fit? I can fit. Oh, I can't fit. Wait. Will it let me fit? Yes. Oh my I god, yes it will. Through. Huh? Can I force my way through it? That's the next question. Uh, yes I can and I did. Release the winch and... Oh my god, I'm like on top of it now. Okay. I'm not... Huh? I just picked up, I just picked up the wood. Oh, really? Cause like I'm not even close. Ugh. I mean, I am close. I wood in the back. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Yeah, I'm close, but I'm not like right on top of it or anything. Well, okay. 
I'm about to be. I think, I hope. Oh, come on. Oh, a clearing. Okay, there it is. Wow, I just took the most complicated route. Let me look at that route. Oh my god, dude, you you need to you need to come back and watch the video to see the route I took to get to this cuz it's like the most complicated route I could have taken. See, once you get that cloak, you'll see what I mean. The uh, south of us there's a road and I hopped right out on that and I just took it to the right. Oh, okay. I just drove straight around and hit a road that led me straight into the um logging camp. Are you running the medium trailer? Yes. Uh, what truck are you in? Are you in the, the uh, C or the B? I'm in the, the B-131. Oh, I'm in the C-375. Okay. I'm, I'm in the different truck. See, I don't know if those two trucks really have that much of a difference between them. I don't know if it's like a bigger engine or anything like that. I just know that... I feel like it's looks. Yeah, like, I've always been curious about that. I was like, is it, is it, like, a massive difference between the trucks? Or, like, I know that there's the big 8x8, and then there's the huge, massive 8x8 that barely fits anywhere. Yeah, the, the, what, the D-series? It's the two D-series. No, it's the D-series and the what series. I can't remember what the... D-series is the big one, the logging one, and then the other one's the one that you can have the big, massive crane on the back. That's the one I'm talking about, the crane one. Yeah, I would not want to log with that. I just feel like it would be way too big. Do what? Actually, I need to figure out where I'm going now. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's the watch point. And there's... Oh, wait, that's another log station, fuel station. I'm trying to figure out what the best place to go to is. Uh. Oh, jeez. Um, I'm trying to think, because, because, like, the, like, I'm up here, and I don't want to just backtrack, but I'm also not sure where I'm going. Are you still there? Oh boy, he's not. Well, <laughs> we're carrying on. We're carrying on without Jeep Guy, I guess. Okay. Well, uh, that's <laughs> that's a little bit odd. I will. F uh, once we get to the lumber objective, I'll figure out what happened to Jeep Guy because that does happen occasionally. Um, that does happen occasionally because his internet's a little screwy. But at the end of the day, I will say that eh, it is it is kind of what it is because of his internet. So, all right. I think we should be able to... Where's the main lumber station again? It's down here, the lumber mill. God, I need to figure out how to freaking get rid of those. Like... No, that's that's not what I need. Uh, Lumber mill one? Yes, but get rid of... Oh my god. Okay, how do I delete these though? Oh, that... That, that, like, mmm. Oh, delete, hold. Delete, hold. Oh, God, I finally figured it out. Oh, my God. They're all gone now. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, they're all gone. So much better. So much better not having to look at the path node. It's like, dude, why? Am I going... Oh. I'm going the wrong way. The complete and total wrong way but there should be a road up here that actually you know what i can see it there's a road right up here that i can i should be able to just get onto and make my way down to the uh down to the lumber area oh come on come on 